It's your boy Mike T's back at you with another video. And today, we're going over B Flex. You heard me right, part two to B Flex. Um, we're gonna do some layering, some block out, and I'm gonna explain a little bit how that works in silhouette design. All that more after the intro. <laughs> So last time you guys see me use the B-Flex and it was uh, this right here. Shouts out to you, Joe, from Heart and Hustle Printing slash The Vinyl Stand. Told you guys I was coming back for it. I love this color, it's beautiful. And I will be adding many more to the um, collection. Um, if you guys would like some, make sure you visit The Vinyl Stand and use the promo code Big Mike. It's only gonna be there for a short amount of time. So hop on it as soon as you can. Go ahead. So right now we're gonna do a, a little bit of offsetting and blocking out. And what that means is basically, you see how Heartbreaker is in the center of this heart. Yeah, that looks pretty good like that. And I'm pretty sure I could have just left it like that. But we're gonna take the extra steps and I'm gonna show you guys how so you can apply this in your everyday custom apparel business. So. We're simply gonna move Heartbreaker from there. Um, the heart can stay there, or at least in the corner. We're gonna select Heartbreaker, double click. We're gonna offset this. Um, there we go. So once the Heartbreaker is offset, I like to go down to 95 or 85 just depending on what my computer is feeling like. Sometimes I feel like 85, sometimes it don't. All right, so we're at 95. We're gonna hit apply. What that did was make my border a little bit closer, but it also separated the words that you can see um, that there's extra blocks inside my guideline box. But that's cool. We're just gonna hit Command G and group it all together. So we have one solid image. We're gonna bring our heart right back down. We're gonna bring the whole, well, see, I make the mistake so you guys don't have to. I moved the heartbreaker a little bit too quick. So I'm gonna hit Command Z, Command Z, and it moved everything back the way that I want to. We'll move the heart out the way one more time and we'll group again. So now this should move as one unit. It does. All right, now we'll slide our heart right back over. And guys, I did make a full video, an end screen video of this. I'm just not sure when I'm gonna post it. But I want Heartbreaker to be around there. And to do the block out method, you would select everything. The Heartbreaker that we just did with the um, offset, and the heart itself. Then we would go to the 10th icon down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. This is the modifying panel. So once it opens and your, your uh, image is selected, all of the images selected, you wanna hit subtract all. All right and it did it cleanly, um, almost instantaneously. So you might have to rewind that to catch that again. But when I hit that subtract all, it actually made 
the letters into that heart. So we'll move that out the way so you can take a look. There you are. So as you notice, it took out that big chunk where the offset was. Now you have one or two options. You can leave it just as is, remove the offset from around the heartbreak, or you can make that another color. The way you would do that is simply ungroup, which of course it makes everything smaller, and try to remove the heart and the breaker, like so. Simply select those, hit the color panel, and these are quick tips. I'm thinking about putting out a silhouette class. I'm really close to doing it, so we'll find out. And maybe make it blue. So now you have three colors that you can use instead of just the two. But for this video, we're just gonna keep it simple. We're not gonna keep the offset. We're actually gonna move it to the side because it's in the way. And we're getting ready to cut the heartbreaker in black and the heart in red using B Flex, Give Me Five Evo. So for Give Me Five Evo, it's uh, heated up to 285 and it's supposed to be pressed for four seconds. Um, medium to firm pressure. So I'm gonna make sure my pressure is adjusted, which it is. And no carrier sheet or no Teflon paper. So normally guys, I say go half the time. Um, with four seconds, that means it would only press for two seconds. I'm a little skeptical on that. So I'm gonna keep it at four seconds and then layer with the black piece for another four seconds to make sure that everything goes as planned and hopefully we get the best results. But we'll see. Literally four seconds, y'all, and this stuff. I mean, like, I am truly amazed. No liftage, no none of that. I, I'm super geeked over here. Four seconds? A four second press? All right, B-Flex, you playing games with me. We're gonna try this black and see what happens. So whenever you're doing like a cutout, you see how you have all this excess carrier sheet behind it? Make sure you cut close to the letters or a contour cut. That way, when you set it on here, it doesn't leave an indentation in the uh, vinyl. Cover it with the Teflon sheet because we do have some exposed vinyl. And we'll press for another four seconds. I'm telling you, this platen is so hot. It feels like it's cooking my skin. Even though it's at 285, it's still hot, y'all. Almost looks like an S, um, but it is an R, heart breaker. And yo, let's take it up off the press. Take a good look at it. Shout outs once again to B Flex. If you haven't copped you any, hit the affiliate link down below. It helps to grow the channel. And plus, he has a wide variety of patterns, colors, um, different. Um, Bricks, flocks, metals, you name it. Stop by the vinyl stand, visit Joe, tell him Mike sent you. But until next one, y'all, I'm out.